Hello everyone. Welcome to part 12 of our beginner's guide for Windows Server Active Directory. And today we are going to build a new forest for Contoso Financial Services. So let's see what we have today. So we'll look at the background of the company, what this company is, what does this company do. And we'll build a forest for Contoso Financial Services. So let's look at what this company is all about. So Contoso Financial Services is a multinational professional services firm headquartered in Atlanta, Georgia, United States of America. And this company provides accounting, tax, HR and payroll services to businesses operating on an international scale. So this is a global company. It has, say, branch offices across the globe. So, so let us see the physical structure of Contoso. So the head office is at Atlanta, Georgia, and they, are, they hold 41 branch offices, let's say in Austin, Texas, Columbus, Ohio, Portland, Oregon. So they have three offices in United States of America in the USA, one office in Mumbai, Paris, Sydney, Warsaw, Poland, Singapore, Moscow, Geneva, Dubai, Johannesburg and so on and so forth. So they have 41 total say branch offices across the globe. So let us build the forest for Contoso Financial Services now. So let us look at the model which we'll be using for building the forest. So we will be using the single forest with single domain model for Contoso Financial Services. So we have proposed this particular model and there will be 41 Active Directory sites. So it will be somewhat like this. So today we will be installing and configuring Active Directory domain services on the computer named Atlanta DC and this will be our first domain controller in a new forest altogether. So we don't have anything right now. We'll be building a new forest for Contoso. So let's look at the server details. The server name is Atlanta-DC. Operating system is 2012R2. IP address 192.168.100.100. And we will be installing DNS as well on this server. So our preferred DNS would be 192.168.100.100 again. So let's look at the forest details. Forest name, what we have suggested is Contoso.com. Net BIOS name, Contoso. Forest functional level is 2008R2. And a domain functional level is as well 2008R2. So uh, we will be discussing Active Directory functional level in our upcoming session. So let's jump into the labs then. So welcome to the labs. Now we have logged on to Atlanta DC. This is the operating system over here is Windows Server 2012 R2 and we will be installing and configuring Active Directory Domain Services on Atlanta DC. So this Atlanta DC server will be our first domain controller in a new forest. So let us start, let me go to manage, add roles and features. So over here there are two parts. For any server service there are say two parts. One is to install the role service and second part is to configure it. So installation is quite easy. You, you just have to select the particular service and then click on next, next, next and install. The services will get installed and but the configuration part requires a lot of planning and a lot of know-how and while configuring the end result has to be very clear what exactly we are expecting from that particular service. So let's begin installing Active Directory Domain Services. First we'll install it, 
and then we will configure it. I'm clicking on next over here. Just role based installation next. So we want to install Active Directory domain services on Atlanta DC next. So there are so many roles, say role services. So we are only we'll select Active Directory domain services. We'll put check next to it. So this Active Directory domain service requires so many features and services to be installed. So it automatically pick, picked it up. So I'll just click on add features and click on next, click on next and next and simply install. So it will, it has started installing the service and all the rules. So it will install group policy management. It will install say remote server admin tools and ADDS and ADLDS tools, Active Directory module for PowerShell, Active Directory domain services tools, Active Directory admin center and AD snappins for command line tools. So it will, this is the process of installing it. So installing is extremely easy, comparatively easy than, than configuration. Configuration requires a lot of planning and the end result has to be very clear. So in our lab, our end result is very clear that we are in a process of creating a new forest for Contoso Financial Services. So that's our end result. So we exactly know what we want and we will configure as say this Active Directory as a, per our plan. So if you see the installation was completed and we see a yellow exclamation mark in the notification area. Now just a heads off, uh, if you're troubleshooting say any Windows operating system, this is the first place you need to go. Just go to server manager, local server or let's go to server manager and this is a notification flag. So if you see some notification, start working on it. So we have a notification. It says that post deployment configuration. So it says that you have installed Active Directory domain services, but post deployment configuration is still not completed. Means it's asking us to configure Active Directory domain services. So in the world of Active Directory, this is not called as configuring Active Directory. Instead, it is called as promoting a server to a domain controller. So we have a link over here, promote this server to a domain controller. So let me click it, promote this server to a domain controller. Now it will give us a lot of options. We have seen all these options in our earlier video. So the name of the video was say, the ways in which we can configure a Windows Server. So we have discussed as a domain controller. So we have discussed all the options over here. We went to select child, went to select tree. Okay, went to select add a new domain controller to an existing domain. But right now we will be creating a new forest for Contoso Financial Services. And we'll provide the domain name as contoso.com. So I'll be hitting next over here. And as decided, our forest function level and our domain function level will be 2008R2. So we will be discussing Active Directory functional levels in our upcoming sessions. Now we will be configuring this server as a domain controller. And if you see over here, you see global catalog is checked and it's grayed out. So we have also understood what a global catalog is. And the first domain controller in the forest is always a global catalog. So we can't do much. So it's always a global catalog. And there's one more option over here. Directory services restore mode is asking us to put in a password over here. So this, pa this password will be used when we restore active directory or a, uh, even a single object, multiple objects or entire domain controller. So uh, we will be taking up say active directory backups and restores in our upcoming sessions. So let me put in a password over here. I'm clicking next. 
so it's giving us a warning for dns so this dns contoso.com uh, say don't have any authoritative dns so simply we can ignore this particular warning next it will look at the net bios name as we have decided our net bios name will, will be contoso so it will automatically take up contoso so let me click on next now it it's asking us to where do you want the active direct directory database to be say present on your hard drive so this is the default folder for active directory database c windows ntds and the logs file as well will be c windows ntds and the syswall folder is a folder wherein our group policies are stored so we will be covering up syswall in our group policy sessions okay by the way ntds stands for new technology directory services so this is the default location where our active directory database will be hosted i'm clicking on next over here so this is the synopsis or the review of what we have selected and that's okay for us we'll click on next now it will go for a prerequisite check it will check if this server is say okay for hosting active directory domain services and absolutely all the prerequisite check pass successfully click install to begin the installation so i'll just click on install over here so it will start the installation now so we will be able to see the progress over here what all the things which are getting installed okay and after the installation is complete the server will automatically restart so it's installing dns now so it will install components one by one dns it will install group policy management console and then it will install active directory and then it will restart the server automatically so this is the entire process of promoting a server to a domain controller now we have promoted our first domain controller in the forest so, so we have selected uh, create a new forest but uh, i don't think you will be getting a chance to do this because active directory is in existence since last 22 years and say every company has their own active directory so you might get a chance to either create a new say uh, domain in an existing forest or you might get a chance to say create uh, say add a new domain controller to an existing domain so our active directory has been installed and configured or we have promoted this atlanta dc to a domain controller now it has restarted on its own now guys if you feel that uh, this channel is helping you to learn anything new please share this channel with your friends and your community and i would highly recommend you to comment and uh, please suggest me on which topics you want me to create contents on i will definitely create contents on the topics which you suggest so the server has been rebooted it's asking us to wait we'll just wait over here we'll confirm if active directory is installed or not and then we'll call it a day so it's taking time because this is the first time it's rebooted after configuring or after promoting this server to a domain controller so as i told you installation is very easy configuration requires a lot of planning so in our upcoming sessions as we have our active directory now we will be designing our the the active directory for contoso financial services so we'll understand their existing physical structure we will create the ou structure the organizational unit structure for contoso financial limited so we'll come up we'll propose say two to three designs and uh, we will say take up one design and 
builds our OU and the group structure and the user structure for Contoso Financial Services. And after after this, we will create a new Active Directory site altogether. So we'll create a new site and we'll configure Active Directory sites and services. We'll configure IP subnets. We'll configure site links and we'll understand how Active Directory replication works. Okay. And uh, we'll go for some good labs using say for Active Directory replication. So let me log on over here. So I'm logging in as a enterprise admin, Contos administrator. And here we go. So let me open up Active Directory users and computers and see what's in there. So I'm going to tools, Active Directory users and computers. And this is our domain. And if I click on the domain controllers folder or OU, I'll get we have one domain controller now. So this was the process of building a new forest. So we have our Active Directory forest now and a domain contoso.com. And in our, our upcoming sessions, we will design this particular Active Directory for Contoso Financial Services. So let's summarize, say what we have covered. So we understood Contoso Financial Services about Contoso and the line of business. And we understood the physical structure and the site offices. And then we built the Contoso Financial Services, uh, say forest. And the active directory design model was single forest with single domain with the forest and the domain name as Contoso.com. Net buyer's name Contoso Forest and Domain Functional Level 2008 R2. So, this was the end of part 12. Hope you have enjoyed today's session. And if you feel this channel is helping you to learn anything new, please subscribe and share this video with your technical community. And have a great day.